pain and injury are not the same thing. They don't have to be connected in the human body. I want to just, I guess, first dive a little bit more into that, Matt, because I think sometimes it can be really hard for people to start to understand that pain is not necessarily coming from a physical injury and that it is an, an output rather than an input. As an easy example, you can think about if you've ever had to go into a really stressful meeting, maybe with a boss, a subordinate, a partner, um, and you start to develop pain before that meeting even happens. Like could be stomach pain, neck pain, headache, all kinds of stuff that our body can create as a way of telling us, I don't feel safe. We need to slow down or be cautious. Um, and those examples of acute pain when there is no injury can become chronic as well. That's not to say all chronic pain is coming from some type of perceived threat um, alone, like it's all in your head. But there is this very real sense that the brain is creating pain based on its predictions and based on its previous experiences. And we'll, we'll talk in a little bit about how those are integrated together. But one other note I wanted to make here just at the very beginning is if you actually look at the research on what's called asymptomatic orthopedic injury, which means someone goes in for an MRI or an X-ray not having any pain, no dysfunction, no movement problems, but they're participating in a study. On the MRI, we can see potential damage to their joints or connective tissue that is severe enough that if they were experiencing pain, it would be surgically operable. But in these cases, in these research studies, these people are experiencing zero pain on a daily basis. And so this is, this is kind of the flip of what we were just saying, right? That pain doesn't come from injury. But it's important that we understand this because we want to differentiate and dissociate the ideas of injury and pain. On the flip side of the coin, the opposite is also true. We can have pain, such as the examples before, when there is zero physical injury present in the body. So we want to spread those ideas far apart. Pain and injury are not the same thing. They don't have to be connected in the human body and in the nervous system. And the sooner we can grasp that, then we can dive into a little bit deeper conversation about, well, then why is the brain generating pain?